Welcome back. Some updates that we're getting as far as that Jadavpur University situation is concerned where uh, Babul Supriyo was out by SFI students is that uh, the governor had reached and had tried to escort Babul Supriyo out of the university. We are being told that students are still blocking their way. This is really the height of vandalism and absolute shameless politics on educational campuses, disturbing life for everyone uh, and opposing what is a fundamental right of all student bodies and all views to be heard and seen at campuses. Uh, Shantashree is uh, continuing to keep a track of the development. Shantashree, what more are you learning of the latest situation? Shivani, clearly this is an unprecedented and definitely unfortunate incident that is unfolding right now in Jadapur University where the governor of the state had to go to rescue a union minister from the uni university campus because the students over there had stooped to such kind of hooliganism where the governor himself is uh, uh, dragging Babul Supriya along with him, made him sit inside his own official car and is trying to come out of the university gate still being blocked by the protesters over here without any reason specific. So clearly we see that this is a completely unprecedented incident that is unfolding right now in Kolkata, in Jadapur University right now, where a governor of the state has gone to rescue a union minister, Babul Supriyo, who had been geared out for more than four hours right now by the Jadapur University student wing, that is SFI, who had been uh, uh, heard raising slogans regarding NRC. Rega uh, they had been protesting Babul's presence over there at the event, while that event was clearly given a permission. And in this entire crossfire, the vice Chancellor Surinjan Das has also been clearly been attacked and now he's admitted he's been All treated right. right now. So clearly these kind of incidents that is unfolding in Jadapur University is completely unacceptable. This kind of student politics had gone not only towards yes, uh, and if this was happening but anywhere clearly, else, no, of course, being the first question that would be asked is exactly what is the state police doing which controls law and order? What is the state government really doing that such scenes are unfolding at Jadavpur campus? And this isn't the first time that something like this has happened there. What it also denotes is that perhaps there are certain sections of student bodies that have absolutely no fear of the law. Is it because they feel that the police is not going to act against them? Shantashree, thanks a lot for joining us for the meantime. Time for us to end this edition of The Biggest Story tonight. But here's a reminder coming up at 9 p.m. with Arnab Goswami on the debate. It seems Imran Khan is rattled once again and is highly insensitive because even as more and more minorities are being attacked in Pakistan, he sees this only as a conspiracy to tarnish him. We'll get you that in just a bit.